Here's a photo of my daughter. This is my daughter, Katie. She's going to be expensive. <laughs> my wife is out with our son. I'm hanging out with Katie all day. I know she looks super cute in this photo, but there are little sort of annoyances about her that don't present in this photo. So I'm not always patient with her as I should be. I don't always practice what I preach. But this day, I felt like I was patient. I left my phone at home. Her little annoyances didn't bug me. I'm snuggling her that night, getting ready to put her to bed, and suddenly these faces begin to pop into my mind. Rodney, Christine, Dr. Matthews, my child psychologist, Mrs. Wilhite, that Spanish teacher I told you about, have you ever thought about speech and debate? All these different Rodneys, these one caring adults who made what I was holding in my arms possible. I never met my dad. So I remember I just looked at Katie, I said, Katie, Daddy loves you so much. And I will never leave you, I'll always show up for you. Katie kind of looked back at me, she couldn't say a lot at this age, but she said this, I'll never forget it, she said, I love mommy. <laughs> if you laughed at that, you're a jerk. <laughs> But I know for me, this is often how it feels working with kids sometimes. You feel like you have interaction situations where you nail it, you wait for a little bit of feedback, like, huh? How you like how I dealt with that situation? Family, kid, youth, young person? Nothing. Or if you work with angry kids like me, sometimes thank you sounds like F you. The opposite. Of sometimes what we secretly, we don't want to say this out loud, need. To know we're making a difference, an impact, not wasting our life, not is any of this getting through. I moved in with Rodney and Christine in 1994. I didn't thank them one time till 2004. That's a 10-year delay. Here we are present day. This is my mom and dad. That 10-year delay, zero to do with them. It was me. That's why I didn't thank them. I was scared of being vulnerable. Do not judge in real time what history will prove over time, that you are indeed a Rodney, that you are indeed making a difference. I want to give the final word of this presentation to the two people in my life who deserve it the most. Rodney and Christine. I said, Mom, I'm going to tell them how I used to call Dad a lowercase b. She replied, bless your heart. <laughs> Which is Southern for you're an idiot. <laughs> this was intimidating. This was delightful. This was a pleasure. Thank you for being a Rodney. Here they are. Okay, my name is Christine Wiedemeyer, and I'm Josh's mom, who he doesn't call nearly often enough. Bless his heart. I'm Rodney Wiedemeyer, a.k.a. the lowercase b. I think he had a uh, picture of me on, a, on, on deck one time, a side view, made a b. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, what would you go back and tell yourself when you were raising Josh? And was he being really difficult? <laughs> <laughs> What would we tell ourselves? Well, at first it was like, holy cow, what have we done to ourselves here? Because he was really a challenge. And with these kids, it's easier for them to reject than to be rejected. And so they try to do everything they can to, to be the one that... And we knew he had a lot of good in himself. Yeah. And we knew there was good there. He just had to bring it out. Main challenge was just to let him know that we wasn't going to give up on him. And that... Uh, He's part of our family. Another piece of advice I'd like to give people would be that uh, it was given me a long time ago when I first started teaching, and that is that uh, God doesn't make mistakes, that there's good in everyone. Sometimes we just have to reach deeper to find it, but never give up.